Right, I'll cut to the chase straight away. If you've clicked on this video to see the um, figure four deadfall trap, we will get to that in a second. Um, but one of the main reasons that I've, I wanted to make this video as well is you might, regular viewers to the, regular viewers to the channel might have seen me using this, this, uh, this new tool um, in, in recent videos and not all of you will know the story behind it, some of you might, so I'm just going to fill you in a little bit on this, um, give you my thoughts on it and then I'm going to use it, I wanted to use it to make something but I've done bow drills on this channel before because I was going to do that, so I thought I'd make a, a deadfall trap, so I'll just do sort of a, a simple figure four deadfall trap, I'll show you how to do it and we'll use this knife to do it. I've got to just give a big shout out to my boy Mark for this because he reached out to me and he said look I've got a, a field master knife which is what this is and it's gathering dust in attic since I had a couple of sprogs I've not been able to get out I'm not using it so it's just gathering dust and I'd like it to go to a home or somewhere that I know it'll be used and that he would like to gift it to me and I, at first I said no because it's too much like don't mind like I appreciate little gifts and stuff it's, it, it, the, the magnitude behind it if you because I'll get into that in a bit but this sort of transcends money and in it there's a lot <laughs> there's a lot gone into this knife and it means a lot this knife so for him to to say that I was just like no mate you keep it but thank you so much and then he sort of said he wasn't going to use it and then if I you know if I give him a some merch and some bits and pieces then it's sort of a fair swap so I sent him off some stuff and he kindly sent me this the field master I'm not going to bang on about it too much you will have seen it in some of my videos and I have been I told him I wasn't going to sort of do a review of it or mention it until I've um, until I've really given it some beans which I believe I have I reckon I've taken it out quite a few on quite a few trips with me and this is it mate it's um oh, mate. so those of you that there you are this logo will be quite familiar to a lot of you it's Mike from uh, TA Outdoors <laughs> only joking it's my mate Mike from MCQ Bushcraft the goat in my opinion simply the goat and here uh, the knife maker away focus and reflection issues let's have you oh, mate this is can you see LB knives mate LB knives Lee Bennett rest in peace um, and this was the uh, the knife that Mike from MCQ Bushcraft and Lee from LB Custom Knives or LB Knives um, worked on, um, and it's called the Fieldmaster. And sadly, uh, Lee passed away in his workshop doing what he loved um, recently, which was an absolute tragedy. Um, and it was lovely to see the community chip in. I chipped in. A lot of people chipped in just to to send money to his family which I thought was a, a beautiful thing to do um, and it really showed like the heart of the community and uh, yeah it was a good thing man and and so that means and just so you can see why that added sort of oomph that goes with this knife and the, so I was so grateful mate and so yeah I'm just gonna I'm just gonna show you through it a little bit just to let you have a look because I think things like this deserve to be immortalized on, uh, on film so you've got your little leather I'm not sure I'm getting on with these yet I might switch them out for uh, like a tech lock or something like that um, Kydex sheath the only thing I will say let's start with the negative shall we because <laughs> and I mean and because I am I'm always honest with my reviews I have to be unless it's Northern Monk um, the only the only downside is the handle is a little bit a little bit loose a little bit slippy sorry a little bit there isn't the grip like there is on my SE, but once you, it's really grippy when it's wet, when it, it's when it's dry, it's a little bit of giving it, but that's the only downside I could find on it. It's, it's, it's a stunning bit of work. I mean, I'm not doing it justice really with this. The 
three mil belly on a <laughs> flat grind and um, stainless steel as well even though I have managed to get a couple of little blotches of stain on it because I've had it out at the coast and everything so um, there's no jimping on it don't feel it needs it I love like the fat belly on the end and as far as bushcraft knives go it's perfect for me it's got a 90 degree on there I like thin uh, thin knives because for food prep and skinning and gutting and just doing whatever you, kitchen chores basically uh, it's perfect for that and the fact that it's stainless steel and I spend a lot of time on the coast absolutely perfect and I've loved loved using it so thank you Mark I know it's been a long time um, from when I got the knife to me doing this video but I wanted to do it justice and wanted to really know the knife personally and, and have not just get it and do a review on it so I feel like I'm at that stage now so I can't thank you enough mate it has gone to a good home and it is getting used and I I think it's even taken over me uh, SE3, me custom SE3. Oh, I don't know that. I will take that. I will take that back out with me just for all time's sake. But this is just, it's just beautiful, mate. It feels wonderful in the hand. The ergonomics are fantastic on it. The weight, it's weighted just perfect. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you. Um, right. So I'm going to just knock up a little figure four uh, deadfall trap. I'll let you see how you do it. Uh, let's get on with that. So we've got a bit of length of stick. This is this is uh, just a bit of rhododendron. Use whatever you want, and you want to have it into three pieces. Yeah, you shouldn't really saw it over your <laughs> over your groin, just for safety's sake. But <laughs> I'm only doing it gently, so even if I slip. Not gonna whip me other tether off, am I? Although that would probably save me a lot of trouble in life. So you want your three, three sticks, and this is where we're getting to our our whittling. Right, this is gonna be my bait stick. So you choose one end. And we're gonna put a, a point on it. Look at that mate, it's so sharp and it's just because it's not a five mil, it's not top heavy, so you feel like you've got a lot of you know the controls in the handle, you've got a lot of control over it. Okay. I'll thin that off a little bit because and take this knot out. And then you can do a chest lever. Give yourself some extra, extra yuck. There you go. Nice little point on that there. Two little lines there, and then I can just carve that material away. out quite easy you see there we are and then so you've got your point there your little gap there and then up here this is where we want a notch that our other stick is going to come into contact with and that's going to keep it locked in there so um, a little bit like you would maybe you're um, you like a tent peg there you go and that is your bait stick done and next is the upright stick so what we want is a notch in here uh, which will marry up with our our um, our bait stick notch so we'll get that in we'll just mark it with your thumb and then get going if 
you don't need it too deep, just something that'll catch, so a few mil down. Just ch like choke up on it, get right up on that choil, and you can just use your thumb just to give it a bit of extra extra power. Now, these are such easy little cuts to do that you, you could actually use in a survival situation you could use uh, rock you could use if you add some flint maybe you could nap a bit of flint off and just take your time and get something like that sorted look there you go and then with your upright you want to just put a, a point on the end of it so it'll go it'll be start looking like something like that you want to put a point on the end of here going that way So let's crack on. So that's them two sticks. The last one, the release stick. So it's a bit bent this one, but we're, we're gonna make it work. Don't you worry. Yeah. Which way around have I gone that way yet? So we want the, so the release stick has to have a point that goes in here and then a, a group, like a, like a delve that goes in here so that this point can go into it. Yeah, so this knife has just become my main, my main squeeze. Or at least it, it has been my main squeeze in the run-up to making this uh, video because I really wanted to get to know it and I I think I'll keep using it I love it and there you have it a figure four deadfall trap with the field master and I've popped a little bit of pepper on the end there so this is your little your little, uh, whatever you want mate, a baby, like a womble. This is your womble, ah oh, look at that mate, pepper, sweet. I'm having a bit of that. Diddle there. Has a bit of pepper. Oh, trapped under there. You come along. Breakfast. <laughs> there you go. So if you were in a survival situation, you'd set up a few of them. You'd look for little runs. Uh, you could even set them up on trees that are falling against other trees that you know maybe squirrels like to run up. Um, yeah, and you'd use maybe bigger rocks and or you could use logs and whatever. Whatever you want really. But that's not the point. <laughs> the point was this. I uh, did a fantastic job. It does do a fantastic job with everything. And I just want to say thank you, Mark, for sending it to me. I, I really, really do appreciate it, mate. Thank you very much. Um, big up Mike from MCQ. Um, I've said it many a times, mate. You're the goat, in my opinion. Um, just... Just a lovely man. I love watching your videos and stuff, mate. You're a sound, you're a sound man. And congratulations to you, and Meg, on uh, little baby Max perdition. <laughs> uh, couldn't be happier for you, mate. And finally, uh, rest in peace, Lee. An absolute craftsman. An absolute craftsman. A master at what he what he did. And uh, by all accounts, and from what I can make out, uh, a lovely human being as well. So rest in peace, Lee. And uh, yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Take it easy. See you later.